this was the end of the first uh, three words. And the three words were wisdom, fear, and fools. And I was going a little heavy, and I'll back off a little bit. You know, if you're you're in recovery, you need to be wise about things. You need to be open to being taught new things. For the people in AA and NA, you know, you need to really ask God, your God of your understanding, to show you the right way, the best way. That's what I did. I asked God, he helped me. Then I asked him, show me the right way. Show me the best way. And within a, within a short period of time, he said, he showed me Jesus. <laughs> he gave me, a, he showed me a girl in a program. and I, She was crazy and I chased her into a prayer meeting. And I got saved. And I got baptized in the Holy Ghost. Um, but he used what I was interested in, the sickest girl in the place. She was actually better than other sick women I found, but that was cool. You know, she was, she was, she was good. She ended up marrying a rodeo rider for whatever reason. I don't know what happened. I never, nobody, I've talked to people and they don't know whatever happened to her. Um, but she was, she was cool. Uh, she was a sweetheart, but she was a little dinged up from life. Um, the other word is fear. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. In other words, respect God. You know, you're not gonna you're gonna get no place if you don't respect God. You know, and in difficult situations, it's a very very foolish attitude to take to disrespect God to to don't think He's powerful to don't respect His ways. You know, it's foolish to do it. You know, and fools, fools do things that are almost, they, they make mistakes that are almost irreparable. Because that's, a fool, a fool is not a compliment in the Bible. A fool, they, it's, a fool is almost useless. It's, it's like, uh, it's like, uh, a fool is like the, the waste from an atomic reactor. There's no place convenient to put it. It has to be put away and guarded or it will corrupt everything around it. A fool is not a good compliment. It's an unteachable person, unteachable, uninterested, rebellious, angry, hurtful. A fool is not a compliment. And as we go through Proverbs, you'll see God reserves the the deepest of insults is, is you're a fool. You know, and a fool does not respect God. It doesn't mean, it says fear is the beginning of wisdom. It doesn't say it's the end of wisdom. You know, the beginning of wisdom is fear of him. The end is faith in him. Where we find shelter, we find an ability to learn and gain wisdom. That's the goal. Fear God, respect him, and let him teach you how to gain wisdom, to gain understanding, to gain acceptance, to gain forgiveness, to gain all the things that our heart really, really, really des desires. That's what we want. We want peace. We want rest. We want fulfillment. We want joy. We want happiness. And being a fool never gets that. And in Proverbs, they'll, they'll say it. A fool is never at rest. So as we go through Proverbs in the three words, listen, begin to respect God. Begin to ask him for help. Begin to be open-minded about his ways. Begin to sort of edge off the antagonism towards God. And really be open-minded and say, Lord, I don't understand this, don't like it. I want to do what I want to do, but I'm open-minded. How? Honesty, open-minded, and willingness. I'm willing to suspend judgment and have you help me to understand about all of this. 
That's what it is. How? Honesty, open-minded, and willingness. That's what we need as we start to look at the three words, we start to study Bible, as we start to explore God's kingdom instead of our own kingdom. Recovery sometimes, we, we are in recovery to rebuild our own kingdom. That's not necessarily what it's about. You know, real recovery is deciding that, uh, like the prodigal, I'm not doing so good out here. I think I'm going to go home to my dad's house. Even if I have to be a servant, at least I'm going to eat. That's what this is about. Honesty, open-minded, and willingness. Wisdom, fear, and foolishness. So this is the beginning of three words. I hope it was helpful. If you have comments, nasty grams, whatever, put them down below. You know, guys in the house, if you want to stop me, I can talk. We can chat. If you have other questions, then I will answer them in, 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 in the future. And um, I might do one lesson and then talk, answer questions and stuff like that. Or you can stop me, stop me after me after the house meeting and we can talk and I'll explain the stuff. Or you can rag on me. I don't care. Um, but this is the thing that you're escaping because we have a short house meeting. This is the thing that I talk about to you if I would, could do it. I'd rather have you go to a meeting and stay clean and get out of Dodge and go to meetings and go together and stuff like that because that's that I feel is your survival. That ensures that you're not face down on, on, on some street in Worcester, dead and cold. Um, and that's what this is about. The house is about you being alive long enough to gain wisdom and to to escape foolishness. So, Lord, I just pray, oh God, to everybody that listens to this, whether in the house or out in the regular out in the regular world, that you would uh, bless it, bless it with your anointing, and convince people with your spirit. In Jesus' name, I pray.